Hello everyone, this is Barbecue Boy. I decided to do a couple of reviews today, maybe a few of them actually, to kind of knock out some knives that I've just been sitting on that I've been meaning to talk about. Um, first I want to start off with my Shira Gorovs. The Hati, H-A-T-I is how it's spelled, and the Model 95. Uh, both blades have S30V um, steel. And uh, of course this is the anodized blue uh, all titanium with carbon fiber inlays. Uh, the carbon fiber is uh, it's beautiful actually. It's been milled to have a wave effect. <clears throat> see if I can't get that zoomed in on there. I don't think it's going to work out. But you can kind of see that wave effect. Same thing for the uh, Hati. It also has a nice uh, milling there as far as it gets real tight towards the pivot and as it goes back towards the uh, standoff or backspacer there it spreads out. I'll tell you what these guys the Shure Garve brothers they are uh, uh, these guys know what they're doing they're pretty good um, in their machining I would take a step further and say they are almost machining gods in the sense it's what actually a friend of mine said and when he said that to me I thought he was nuts because I did not own one by then and then once I bought the Hati uh, I agreed with him totally um, the attention to detail and the things they did to these knives are pretty incredible um, the internal over travel and if you, if you follow this cut of the lock bar you'll see that something down in there that's so it's internal so when you go to uh, release the lock it stops you can't push it over it's not it's not like a the the hinderer lock stop where you had the little disc there or strider or even uh, like a Chris Reeve uses on his Amazon the newer ones this is all inside and uh, I, I'm not a machinist but I'd imagine that's pretty difficult to make to build on that lock bar uh, come on phone So, um, let's talk about these guys. Flippers. Uh, I've had several, several flippers, and these are by far my favorite. Of course, I've had XM18s with flippers. I have one here, a 3-inch XM18 flipper. Um, I just sold a 3.5 a, a few months back. Uh, uh, the Hinderer XM18 flipper. Uh, I've actually had several Hinderers that were flippers. Um, Sold the three and a half, kept this three inch. It's just a nice little companion. Um, I find myself, I do love big knives, but I am finding myself gradually going back to the smaller frame knives. Um, for example, uh, the, the, the new guy on the block, the Spyderco Strider Collaboration uh, Flipper. Um, it's not a huge knife, flips very well actually. It's starting to break in a little bit. I probably flipped it a hundred times since yesterday. Excuse me, I'm, I live near an airport, so you may be a few planes flying over. Um, let's do a comparison here. So you can see I would say these two guys are by far closer together, but I'm not going to talk about these right now. That's why I'm not doing this review. But uh, my remaining flippers are these. I probably sold 10 of them in the past several months. Uh, this really need to refine my collection. I had about 40 high-end knives and mid-tech knives, and I'm kind of a little angry at myself. I do have three children and a wife in a home and uh, my own business um, so like all of us our addictions can get the best of us and they got the best of me I had fun doing it though so these two guys have stayed in my collection and I, I really don't think I'll be getting rid of these um, now the differences between the Hati and the model, model 95 are very very subtle of course the obvious the Hati has a uh, G10 um, scale on the presentation side 
and this one here, this Model 95, of course, is all tie. So that's the main difference there. Blade is exactly the same. The overall dimensions and specs are the same, except for weights. Of course, this is going to be heavier. I don't have the specs on those on the weights, so um, sorry, I'm a little ill-prepared. Now, the Hati has this really cool backspacer. It's been debated whether it's steel or it's titanium. Um, I'm not sure. I want to say it's steel. And then, of course, you just have the one single standoff back here on the Hati. I mean, on the Model 95. That's about it on that. So these two guys are pretty much the same. Um, sorry, here we go. Now of the two, the Hati by far flips the nicest. It is beautiful. I sent it to a friend of mine, Chris. He's on a lot of the knife forms. He took it apart for me and uh, took the washers and polished them on a leather strop. And when he did that, cleaned it, lubed it nicely for me. Um, he had the Model 95, and I wanted him to check this out, so he did that for me while he had it. And it's just, I mean, it's amazing how an effort, effortless, effortless this knife flips. And it's just, it's classy. I hear people say all the time, it's classy, it's classy, it's classy. For example, people are saying, oh, this knife here is so glassy, it's, a, it's on bearings, it's a flipper. Sure, it flips nice, and it has some breaking in to do. But if they think that's glassy, then they obviously haven't held this knife. This one here is not as smooth, probably because it hasn't been tuned like this one has as far as, um, yeah, it's still pretty dang fast though. I'm not putting hardly any pressure on the uh, flipper at all. But, okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to PM me or post a message. Um, I can do my best to answer these things for you. I'm not one of these guys who's all about the technicality of a knife, and even though I do enjoy reading about them, studying all the knives, I'm a user. I like to see how they fare in real world events, um, attacking those cardboard boxes. <laughs> um, you know, I don't really care about being tactical or trying to look cool. I like knives for the purposes of what they built made for, for use. So, and so far these guys have done really well. The S30 V, S30 V. Uh, blade steel that they use I, it seems to be heat treated pretty well and it seems to be holding up pretty well on the edge um, so thank you guys for tuning in